Now there was now there's some other things that happened. Unfortunately, there was a terrible attack in France where a man was beheaded, uh, his head put on the gate uh, with a note wrote in Arabic, Allah Akbar. And then they drove the car into some uh, tanks of gas, created more of an explosion, injuring more people. That happened in France. While that was happening in Kuwait, right after Friday prayers, this is Ramadan, okay? This is Ramadan. Right after Friday prayers, that someone went into a mosque in Kuwait, blew themselves up, killing 13 and injuring about 30. While that was going on in Tunisia, while people were out on the beach enjoying the holidays, most of them foreigners from the United Kingdom and other countries, somebody went down there and shot the people and just mowed them down, killing 37, wounding 36, and they said they did it because they wanted to do it for Ramadan. Now I want you to understand what I'm telling you. I'll be very careful tonight. I'm not, I'm not live, am I? Praise God. I'll be careful. But uh, I'm going to preach. You can guarantee that. I can tell you this. I'm not going to compromise with the devil. If the devil does something bad, I'm going to tell him. If God does something good, I'm going to tell it to the world. It doesn't make me a bit of difference who's sitting in the parliament or in the Congress or any place else. We have got to get people to Jesus Christ. And we've got to understand there is absolutely a move of the devil in the last days to rise a beast, a spirit of darkness who's trying to destroy the people of the world. And then because they don't know the word, they can be convinced by flatteries. They can be deceived by deception. This new age movement that's happening, folks, is happening on the television screen. You ought to see the kids today. They're, they're hypnotized. They're mesmerized by the video games. I mean, now anymore, it's dangerous to walk down the, the street because everybody, nobody's talking to nobody anymore. <laughs> everybody, knows, yeah. everybody knows what's going on. Everybody's staring at that screen. Yeah. And so what happens is I see people sitting in the restaurant, husband and wife. Neither, they never say a word to one another. I don't know what in the world kind of relationship they got going. Yeah. And you'll see it all over the place. And I, I think people don't even know how to communicate anymore. They don't know how to talk to one another no more. And they've been captivated. They've been drawn in by a spirit of deception. Yes. And then on the television screen or in the movie theaters, there's all kinds of different things that are being brought forward. There's demonic, all kinds of demonic things now talking about different types of whether they be vampires or maybe they're zombies or maybe there's some other type of extraterrestrial and they've got the people all wrapped up in some type of sorcery and, they, and this sorcery is being twisted though it's not the old stuff with Dracula and you know and the Frankenstein I mean now what you've got is this this spiritual deception this, this glamorization of the spirit of the devil to seducing people and drawing them into a mystical world. And if that's not enough, we've got, if we're not careful, some in the American church anyway, where they're bringing in a deceptive spirit among the people. And the people are thinking they're having church. They're acting like maybe they're there. They walk in, they walk out, but their lives are not changing. Come on, somebody. Oh, come on. They go in, they go out, they go in, they go out. Well, they miss three weeks, they're back, and nobody even knew they missed. Can you say amen? And it's called a lukewarm. It's a, it's a, a the Bible speaks of a great falling away. And it's not necessarily that they won't attend. They're attending churches in record amounts. It's just there's nothing happening when they get there. Come on, somebody. Part of that reason, I'm going to say, is because behind the pulpit, no longer are preachers or prophets of God with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Instead, we've got some playboys in the pulpit and some pansies in the presbytery. What we need is some God-fearing Holy Ghost to help by preaching in the name of Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's time to preach the cross. The preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. But to us that are saved, it's the power of God. Paul said, I'm not 
victory. So what we've got to do is get back to the altar again. If somebody uh, in, in America, here's what's happening because so many people are offended by the cross. Mm -hmm. They can't wear their necklace. And they, some people, when they go to work, they can't wear a necklace if there's a cross on it. Uh, you can't have a bumper sticker that says, I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. You've got to coexist. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, you can't, don't bring your Bible to, 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 to school, to church, or to work. I had a guy, I, have, I always leave my Bible on the dashboard of my car everywhere I go. That way I grab it when I go anywhere I go. And I, I was in the McDonald's parking lot. In the, I had to get a, a McMuffin, okay? Get a McMuffin early in the morning. And I'm, in, I'm waiting for the McMuffin when a man comes out of McDonald's. And he sees my Bible on the dashboard, and he didn't wave like this, I can tell you that. Wow. And when he did the, what he did, I said, well, are you serious? I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not understanding what the problem is. And then he pointed at the Bible. He didn't like it. He didn't. He was offended by it. Here's what the churches in America are doing now. Many of them are beautiful churches. They have tall steeples, but there's no crosses on top no more. They just took them off. I mean, literally, they're literally taking them off because they don't want to offend anybody. I'm telling you right now, if we stop preaching the cross, we're done. Yeah. If we quit preaching the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, we're done. Begley. That's all right. The Lord said, Behold, I give you power. Tread 